but they do play the Broncos. They play the Cardinals. Uh, they play the Falcons and Patriots and Raiders, right? They they do have a lot of winnable games on their schedule. So to say that they have clearly no shot in the West whatsoever, it's, it, it is clearly a no way. Because of the simple fact of the market, the, the simple fact of the matter is that this wide receiver core that they have is the most unproven, unknown in the NFL. I have put them as the worst wide receiver core in the NFL behind the Patriots, behind the Broncos, and behind the Panthers. 32 out of 32, the Chargers are, are there. However, if the offense of coordinator and uh, Roman decides to use Justin Herbert, decides to potentially roll the pocket, some play action, right? Get those young receivers in the game. Quentin Johnson, Joshua Palmer. Let's see what they truly are. Lad McConkie, can he stay healthy for 17 games? He couldn't stay healthy in college. Let's see if let's see let's see if he can do it, right? So to say that they have no shot in the West at like like at all, obviously that is a stretch. That is that 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 is me just wanting my predictions to be right so I can gloat on it. But they have a really good one-two running back punch right now. Gus Edwards and J.K. Dobbins, if they can get healthy, they can have a really, really good season. Take a lot of pressure off Justin Herbert, bring seven, eight guys in the box, get Quentin Johnson and Joshua Palmer one-on-one covers on the outsides, push the ball down the field a little bit. They still have a decent defense. Joe, Joe, Joey Bose is still a really good defensive end. They still have Clea Mack, Asante a, 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 a a Samuel, Derwin James. Still pretty good defense. Not, not a top-tier, top-10 defense, but they're, they're going to keep you in the game. But they do have a shot in the West. It's not a great shot. It's going to take a miracle from God to get them to win the West, but they, they, they still got a shot. They get hot at the right right time, beat those crappy teams that, they're, that are on their things. Bada bing, bada boom, they can be successful. David says six wins. What? What? He says 10 wins minimum. Let's, let's look at back at their schedule. And Chris Fisher is uh, one of these people that uh, my rant uh, was about you. Hello, oh, your takes are garbage. They're better than your takes. So let's talk about this 10 wins, potentially about the uh, Chargers here. Let's say, let's say they beat the Raiders week, week one, beat Carolina. I don't see them going into Pittsburgh and beating the Steelers. I don't see them beating the Chiefs. I don't see them going into mile high and beat the Broncos. They could beat the Cardinals, Saints, ah, Cleveland. No. Tennessee's at home. Let's give you that one. There's four. Bengals. It all depends about Joe Burrow. Is Joe Burrow healthy? I like at this point. I think he's going to have a successful season, so that's that's a no. Monday night at home versus the Baltimore Ravens. No. The Falcons. Potential. There's five. The Chiefs, the Buccaneers, I guess we can throw that one in there. Denver, I think you beat Denver at like at home. There's seven. Patriots, eight. And then the Raiders, nine. I, I, I could see nine wins, but ten minimum? Ten minimum? Are you counting preseason? I, I, don't, I don't know. David, I... I could see eight. I could see eight. But ten. Jim Jim Harbaugh wins everywhere he goes. Joe Ortiz is a really good general manager. Brought in some pretty good running backs. I just... Listen. If this was 2025 right here on this July 5th, 2024 at 3.30 on the East Coast time... I would probably get on board with your 10, 10 wins. 
Second year under, underneath the Jim Harbaugh and Joe Ortiz. Another full offseason, another full draft. I could see it. But this year, I just, I, I, I'm not getting behind it. I, I just, I can't.